Guys, I've really messed up. <laughs> I've super duper messed up. I only have like two and a half hours to get all of my parcels from my storage room in here, packed, labeled, and shipped to the shop. Because I was supposed to wake up like four hours ago and it is is it's Monday and it's now like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So I need to really hurry. But before we do that, I am quickly gonna go over some stuff that I've picked up recently so you guys can see that. First off, we're gonna start with this little fella over my shoulder. So yeah, my good friend uh, Mandalorian contacted me and said, hey, I heard you are uh, liking Star Wars. Would you like a, a baby Yoda or Grogu, whatever he's called now? And uh, I said, sure, why not? And he sent me my very own. <laughs> he's pretty cool. So he's going to sit here on this shelf from now on and just chill out. The noises are a little bit weird. They're not exactly like entirely like what they sound like in the show. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah. Uh, one other thing before I grab the big stuff is down here on the floor. I guess I could show you that real quick. So the other week I uh, bought some more tech deck and one of the things that I showed was one of these ramps. Um, he's still going. You go back to sleep or something, dude? Uh, yeah, one of the things I showed was this ramp. This is a, uh, a tech deck ramp, uh, but it doesn't have the connectors. And uh, that one did actually sell pretty much instantly for 25, I believe. I'm going to turn you off, uh, Baby Yoda, because otherwise we can't hear anything in the video. So sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I did sell it for 20 or 25, I think, pretty much instantly. And uh, yeah, this one actually came up on uh, Bay Crazy on a listing on eBay for uh 199 i bid on it and i won so i picked this one up for two pound basically um but yeah this one will be listed for like 25 pounds maybe even 30 this time and uh, i'll just sit on it this time and see if it goes if not i'll sell it a little bit cheaper again but yeah for two pound to get another one in stock on something that sold pretty much like that last time was a good shout so yeah it's just two halves of the ramp and then there's like a middle piece that goes in there as well right so what i'm going to show you now if you actually followed me on instagram which you should have already done <laughs> if you haven't followed me on instagram and you have instagram uh my instagram is here and uh, the link is in the description i believe it's uh you know flipping underscore sloth at flipping underscore sloth on instagram and you would have already seen this but you know not everyone's on instagram so i thought i would uh, show you as well so i did actually purchase some pokemon stuff everyone's going on about pokemon this pokemon that and uh, i'm not too into the cards but the actual like figures and toys and stuff like that is more my kind of style uh, so when i saw this come up on facebook marketplace i picked it up and i did pay 90 pounds for what's in both of these boxes so what's in this box I actually got listed last night and the stuff in the other box I have not listed. So we'll work our way through. Um, actually, that's not completely true. This is the stuff I photoed. Some of it's been listed. Um, so yeah, £90. However, I have three of these figures, right? And uh, these figures alone go for £29.99. So... <laughs> Times that by three, and that's my £90 back right there. Well, hey, easy peasy. Uh, and no, I didn't know that when I purchased it. But yeah, the, these ones here, I forgot what the name is. Uh, but yeah, when researching it, it turns out that they've all been selling from Japan. Um, and they've been going for anywhere between 30 and £35, £40, depending on condition. These ones are brand new, by the way. Uh, I put it in the little case so it didn't get all mashed up. But yeah, these are all brand new in perfect mint condition. So they should go for about £30. And they've been selling pretty regularly as well. So I'm very happy that we have that. We have two of these little cases here. This is a Hitmonchan and a Rai Raichu. Um, and these have some marbles in. So if we open them up, you will see that in here there is Pokemon marbles. I don't know how well you're going to see this on the GoPro uh but yeah loads of marbles in there and these ones are in really good condition 
Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be asking for these tubs, but I do know that the uh, the marbles themselves, depending on which Pokemon and the condition that the, the marble is in, can go anywhere between about five to 20 pounds, sometimes a little bit more per marble, um, obviously depending on the Pokemon and all that good stuff. So yeah, kind of crazy when you think about it. And we have two whole tubs of them there. Uh, we have this toy here which I think I listed for about £30. Uh, there was only two that had ever sold. One was brand new and uh, in the packet still, and the other one was just like this. Um, and apparently they're super rare or ultra rare, as it said on the listings, but I'm not sure exactly. But we listed that for about £30. Uh, we have a Pokemon guide. This is crazy, by the way. Uh, this is a price value guide from the year 2000. Um, <laughs> and uh, if you go to page 80, they have a uh, first edition base set Charizard for $260. <laughs> oh, the Blastoise 120, Dark Charizard 75, Dark Raichu 62. Um, I don't know much about Pokemon, but I do know that those, uh, those Pokemon are not that cheap anymore. Um, yeah. We got some uh, styluses and stuff like that, some blind bags, uh, we've got a play mat, we got some, uh, you know, things like this, little clip-ons, uh, we got a few of these roller ones um, down in here, and these two are Burger King ones, and then if we go over to the other box, we got a ton of Tomy uh, figures in here, some of the modern figures. Uh, we got a tub here, which is an old 2000, I think, or 1999 uh, lunchbox with Pikachu on. And then we got the bags full of more marbles, so loads of more money in there. And then this bag, it's like a playset from Japan, I think. Um, loads of little figures. It is made by Tomy. But yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. I'm probably going to look up what that makes and then just leave it in the bag. I don't want to go opening it because it is brand new. Uh, but yeah, that could be pretty cool. But yeah, picked up that for £90, like I said. But there's definitely more than £90 worth in here. Uh, so I'm quite happy. Um, and I'm not even looking for fast sell on this. I'm just going to drag it out and uh, try and get as much as I can out of this lot. Because I kind of enjoy having this. Um, even though it's in like a box kind of thing, it's just quite nice to know that I have it because I did have these marbles as a kid. I do remember having them. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, the Pokemon haul that I bought. Um, and that is about it on the stuff that I've uh, picked up recently. It's been quite slim pickings uh, around here lately. Um, but yeah, we're going to head on back over to the storage room in a minute and uh, we're going to pick our orders i believe we're in somewhere around 20 that we need to pick today so that is going to be interesting so stick around for that um i did have an absolutely shocking weekend i think friday i did pretty good like in the 200s and then saturday and sunday were like non-existent like 20 and like 12 pounds or something stupid um but yeah today we've had some sales already today so hopefully we're back to normal today uh, but yeah, the weekend was absolutely terrible. I don't know if anyone else had a terrible weekend of sales, but there we go. It happens. Uh, so yeah, we're going to move on over and pick some orders, shall we? All right, guys. So time is of the essence, so I have to be quick. Uh, we have uh, 23. Well, it says 23. eBay sometimes, the eBay app sometimes says you have more than you do i'm not sure exactly without counting uh the first one is actually an ikea bin that i sold this morning for 19.99 going by gsp it's brand new i uh, got it from my mate's dad it's never been used i'll put the picture here because it's actually over in the other room because i have not moved out of there yet since i uh photoed it so yeah right next up we have a three set of puzzles from what do they have on them cat there's a cat. Oh, I know which one this is. This is the big heavy one. Hang on. Puzzle in a box. I don't know how well you can see, but there's horses. There's cats. There's a nice scene. And there is a pirate ship of some sort. So, yeah. That is the first one of the day. I need to move this out of the way so I have space here. 
put you over there. Okay, so that's sold for $9.99 plus postage, which is good. We have sold a Wazgidge jigsaw backwards uh, puzzle for six pounds, only a small one. This is Wazjig number one, original puzzle. Uh, got nine, how much have we got for six pounds? Sorry, not nine. Six pound, uh, just a 500 piece on this one. Uh, six pound plus postage. Next up, we have another puzzle, a BBC Earth Rhino puzzle. Uh, they've not yet paid, so I'm not going to pick it as of yet. But we have sold Mastermind Super Edition, which I believe was like the follow up to the original. Um, yeah, very light, nice, easy parcel to pack, uh, item to pack as a parcel. And we got $18.99 plus postage on that one. That one's actually going GSP as well. I wonder where. Uh, Centurion Tank Book. I need to find this one. Uh, my shelf collapsed. I lent on it and one of the shelves collapsed. So I have to fix that at some point. Uh, it's currently list, uh, leaning on the shelf underneath, which is not good. Uh, it turns out these shelving units are absolutely terribly made. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of an issue. But we will fix that. I'm just going to go and grab the book. Here we go. This is a... Centurion Universal Tank, 1943 to 2003. So, I got some nice pictures of tanks in there and stuff. And that one sold for five pounds plus postage. Ah, we've sold a record, Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Round. I'm not gonna bother singing it because that would be dreadful. Uh, Seven pound fifty on that. It's in my record storage in the crate. Um, so I can't film that. Sorry. Uh, but I will put a picture here. We've also sold the last of our fisherman's tail fish. Uh, that one, unfortunately, only went for £2.50. But we were already in profit on them anyway. So we'll put a picture right here. A lot of stuff we don't have on us to, to pick in this room today. Uh, we sold two more glasses, two Sunbeam Ale glasses for £14.25. Again they're in the other room so i will put a picture here sorry about that one thing i do have is a mario figure all right this is the mario bag this is all we have left of that mario bundle we got at the car boot uh, last year if you've seen the video i'm pretty sure everyone's seen the video by now that watches the channel but if you haven't go check it out 15 pounds i paid on a huge tub of mario figures and uh, another one has sold and this is all we have left Okay, so is he on a stand? He's not on a stand. It's not that one. It's not that one. It is not that one. Okay. Let's get all the Marios out because I'm struggling to find the correct one right now. So I have three different versions of Mario in this bag. So it's a little bit confusing, especially when there's only like one left. There we go. That's the one we were after, that little dude right there. And as you can see, we had this dude to look out for. And we also had this dude <laughs> to look out for as well. So yeah, this is the one that has sold. And he has gone for £2.38. So yeah, we've drastically reduced the price now of uh, all of the Mario figures. So if you are looking for a figure, or you would like one um they're pretty much all up for two pound fifty uh, each and then obviously if you buy multiples i am able to uh cut the uh postage for you so if you if you want a set if you want a collection do go have a look on the store uh you can find the link in the description or go through my shop uh go through my uh, website uh slothshop.shop the link will be in the description as well and it's up on screen so yeah if you go there all of my relevant links to ebay etsy discord instagram they're all easy to find on there do go check it out so 238 on that nothing crazy uh and then we've sold a pair of running shorts for four pounds so they're around here somewhere um okay so i found them here they are nice little black pair of uh I don't know whether they're lycra or what they are, but they're like a stretchy material. There's a zip on the back, I guess, if you want to put your phone in there. I'm not sure. Yeah, a modern phone would fit in there. Um, I guess if you want a longer, you don't have pockets, you can put it in there. 
Uh, but yeah, nice and cheap, four pound on that, nothing too crazy. But it came in a bundle that I got, so I listed it. And uh, and we've actually sold another puzzle just right now, a traction engine puzzle. Let's have a look if it actually loads. Traction engine, 1,000 piece, it should be over here. There we go. Look at that one. American engine by the looks of it. It's got the uh, US flag on there. 1,000 piece. And that one went for £10. I do like a nice puzzle sale. So that one has literally just sold. So we've caught up on that one. So I have it ready to go out. Right, next up we have a Guinness miniature tankard. I'm pretty sure I put that in this tub here. This little mini tankard from Guinness. It's like a little shot glass in there. And that one was £10 as well. And then we have another vinyl. Introducing the Style Council mini LP vinyl. We'll put it here because again, it is over in the vinyl crate. I don't want to go grab it. Then we have a PlayStation 1 game, which is behind you. Knockout Kings 2000. And this one has gone for 361. I was wondering why the case was cracked. I'm not sure whether it was cracked originally or whether that's happened in storage. Great British trivia quiz. And that one went for 9.99 again plus postage. A lot of 9.99s today. Um, oh, we sold a pair of Adidas trainers which are on the shelf, which is much easier to grab now, which is nice. There we go. Uh, these ones went up for nice and cheap because I couldn't find much details on them, to be honest. Um, so I put them up for 10 and took an offer of 9. And uh, yep, they come in a nice big bundle I had, and I pretty much got them for free with that bundle. Didn't really pay much for them at all next up we have a ps2 scart cable again <laughs> a lot of these it's in the other room um because i haven't moved that tub across yet so we'll put the picture here uh, ps2 to scart cable this is like some old new stock that i have and that's sold for 10 pounds uh, we have a pair of san miguel half half pint glasses and that's sold for uh 14.25 again the glasses are all stacked up in the other room um we have, oh, this was a good one, a Sony stereo turntable system, and we got $69.99 plus £10 postage. However, it is going to America uh, via GSP, uh, which is interesting because I have to send it off to GSP, and then they'll ship this turntable all the way to the States. I'm a little bit worried about it, but I should be insured if anything goes wrong during shipping. At least that's what they tell you. Uh, but yeah, picture right here, $69.99 we got for that one, which was kind of top-end price as well for that unit. Um, but yeah. And uh, after that, we have sold another puzzle. This one has baked beans on it. So this is a so-called impossible puzzle. I hope it's possible, because otherwise I'll get a return that's not possible, even though it says impossible puzzle on the title. You know what people are like. Uh, but yeah, on that one we got 9.99 again. Tons of 9.99s going out. Right, we have a uh, Smurf, Mr. Smurf, Mr. Smurf, and we got six pounds and 99 pence on him, plus postage. He's actually in really good condition, other than this tiny little light like, stain he's got on the front there. But that was all listed in the listing so hopefully there's no complaints and we sold a tour de france hat this little piece of material here was nine pounds uh so this is like a racing hat like when you do uh road racing on a on a bike push bike uh and this one is a uh le sportif and it's a tour de france 100 so i presume that because it has tour de france on it it's sold for a little bit more than it would normally maybe i'm not sure but yeah but yeah this is a nine pound piece of material i guess uh and they paid three pound fifty postage i'm pretty sure i can send that as a uh as a well i could probably send as a normal letter it's so thin um god this list just keeps on going and going and going and going and going today uh we sold a ty beanie and it's so tiny uh this is going to be interesting 
Got him or her. So this is a genuine TY Beanie Baby Hope. That's her name from 1998 with tag. Great condition bear. As you can see, it does have the tag. It's in great condition and she's called Hope. And we got £9.29. There must have been some sort of uh, percentage off on this. I think I still have 25% off. Um, she's actually leaking. No, she's not leaking. Okay. I thought she was leaking beans then, but she's not. Uh, I think I have 25% or 20% off all my plush still for the next few days. So uh, if you want to pick one up, now's the time to do it right last but not least we have a protec universal inline surge protector cable for four pound fifty i'll put the picture here because again it's in the other room so i do apologize there's been a lot of stuff today that i've not um that i have not been able to show you in person because it's in the other room doesn't normally happen like that but yeah and someone is offering me seven pound for a uh, puzzle and it's 9.99 and i'm gonna counter at eight pound fifty because it's a nice small puzzle and i wouldn't be too mad to see it leave right so i have to now move these all over to my other room and get packing because i gotta pack and i gotta do labels and it's currently 4 15. the shop doesn't shut until 10 p.m but the guy collects at like six i think so getting it there for six is just better because then obviously it arrives a day earlier uh, to the customer. So if I miss that, it's not the end of the world. I just like to make sure I get it there before um, because then you have less chance of customers saying it's not arrived on time because they've got it the day before. Right, I'll see you guys in the other room again.
All right, guys, so most of my parcels are now packed up with labels and ready to ship, but we have actually had some other sales come in while we were doing that. So I'm just going to go over them real quick for you guys because they're quite interesting. Um, I've actually sold five blind bags of the Pokemon stuff. Uh, they're going off to America, and uh, that was for £50 plus postage. Uh, so very happy with that. That's £50 out of my £90, in, uh, 90 pound total investment. So £50 of the 90 is in this little bag. Uh, so yeah, we're 40 behind being in the profit on that Pokemon stuff. Uh, so that's really cool to get there so quick. Uh, we've sold this book here, which is a freeing emotions and energy through Maya facial release my official release i have no idea what that means but that book has sold for 10 pounds plus postage uh one that has literally just come through here is a brand new eddie stobard puzzle here as you can see it's still completely sealed uh just a 500 piece puzzle but that one has gone for 19.99 20 pounds on that good parcel uh good puzzle sorry uh which is which is really nice uh, because that is obviously only a 500 piece puzzle um, and we've also sold a connect the connect sensor that we got from that xbox bundle we picked up in the last episode off of vinted has sold so this one has gone for 23 pounds plus postage and i put these four games with it here now these games on their own aren't really worth much so I just chucked them in. They would just be laying around otherwise for a long time. So I threw them in and we got £23 plus postage. So yeah, a few more parcels to wrap up and I might as well do the labels for them now because uh, I am going to be going down the drop-off point very soon today. So I might as well get them out. The, uh, the Pokemon ones need to be done on Royal Mail uh, because they're going to America. Not with Packlink, but he did pay for tracking so I'll do... Uh, Royal Mail track service on that and I'll drop it off tomorrow um, Yeah So yeah, we got a few more to wrap up and then that will be us done and we will be off to the drop-off point which is Pretty nice because look how many we have. I don't know whether these are all gonna fit in the trolley today I may have to uh, do two trips That bag will go in but we've got some big stuff as well So it's gonna be interesting to see so yeah, let me get these done and then uh, we'll be on our way Loads of different stuff. <laughs> so i got to the end of my edit and i remembered that i had actually forgotten to record the outro to today's video so quickly while i'm here thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it if you've enjoyed it in the slightest please do drop a like it really helps me out feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, the link is down in the description as well uh, for my website uh, slothshop.shop where you will be able to find both my ebays my etsy my discord and my instagram link so everything social is on there in one nice easy uh, front page on the website so slothshop.shop for that and uh, hopefully i will see you guys all in the near future in my next video do remember that on i believe april april the 12th i think the shops reopen so we'll be doing uh, charity shops very soon and hopefully followed quite close by by some car boot sales Fingers crossed if everything goes to plan. So yeah, lots more content coming up on the channel. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to continue on with this kind of formula. I quite like making these uh, more interesting videos, a bit longer format with more interesting stuff in. So yeah, do let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.